Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. Alright, it's Sunday so you know what that means. It's another restaurant vlog today. Today we're going to visit a place called Catfish King. This is actually something that uh, I'd driven by a whole bunch of times and wasn't really sure about. Uh, but somebody mentioned it on the live stream about a week ago and I decided to check it out. And I've looked at the menu and the menu looks really good. Uh, basically, David Beard is the Catfish King. David Beard grew up in Orr City, Texas, uh, and, in, uh, and basically grew up in poverty. When he was 14 years old, he actually dropped out of high school because he couldn't afford shoes. In 1969, he opened up his first catfish restaurant because he thought that he could make catfish better than anyone else. He and his brother Jerry would actually uh, drive to Louisiana or Arkansas every day to bring back fresh catfish for the restaurant and then David would prepare it using his own recipe. Shortly after 1974, he added a second restaurant in Longview, Texas, and after that, he's uh, put 14 more branches. So there's 16 total Catfish Kings around the state of Texas, and we're gonna go visit the one in Waco today. Let's go, this is gonna be good. Now I gotta admit, I'd never had catfish until I came to Texas. Uh, I'd had people, I'd talked to people about it, and I found out that it's either, the people either really love catfish or just don't care for it at all. And unfortunately, I ran into more people who weren't into it than that were. But since I love fish so much, I decided to try it when I came to Texas and actually became a fan. So I'm actually really looking forward to this. This is gonna be good. So we have arrived at Dave Beard's Catfish King. And I'll tell you, there's two things that make me think that this is gonna be really good. Number one, the parking lot is packed. There's very little, very few parking spots left here. And number two, it smells fantastic out here. So if the food tastes half as good as it smells, we're in for a treat. All right, so I placed my order. Uh, I ordered the Cajun catfish, which is five to seven pieces of catfish. And I believe it comes with coleslaw, uh, pinto beans, uh, their famous hush, hush puppies, and a tomato uh, salsa kind of thing. So I'm looking forward to this. Kind of like the theme in here. They've got kind of a fishing theme in here, so it's a lot of that kind of stuff. Really just kind of a fun place. And of course, they love their Baylor. Can't do anything in Waco without acknowledging Baylor, right? Yep, good fishing theme here. Got a life vest and a uh, fishing net. All right, this place has sort of a fast food feel to it. You order at the counter and then to deliver it to you, but that does look really good. Now, I think I may have read the menu wrong because I don't see hush puppies. I'm not really sure what those are, but they sounded good. Uh, but what I've got here looks really good. And I got my tartar sauce and I got the, my red sauce, and I'm not sure what that is. I don't think it's ketchup. I think it's a, a more spicy, which should be good with the... Uh, the Cajun flavoring, but I'm looking forward to this. Let's try it out. Actually, when I turned the plate around, I think those are my hush puppies down there. They were just kind of buried in there, everything. And uh, yeah, that isn't ketchup. That's almost like a cocktail sauce, like you'd get with a shrimp cocktail. Got a nice little bite with it, and it's really good with the uh, with the catfish. Okay, so I haven't finished up it, everything, or even really thoroughly started yet, but I've had a little taste of everything, and everything is really tasty. I'm not really sure what this is, but this is it's rice and some sort of a uh, of a sauce that has a really nice little bite to it. So I'm really enjoying that too, even though I wouldn't be able to tell you exactly what it is. And this is their tomato relish. It appears to be like green tomatoes and kind of a pickled sauce. So it's actually got kind of a really good flavor to it. I really like it. And the uh, coleslaw is really good too. No complaints about anything so far. So you got to dig a little bit into this uh, rice concoction to realize that these are the pinto beans that I ordered. Very tasty though. All right, once again, I was a good boy and finished up my meal. Uh, my thoughts on this is a really good meal. The only thing I really wasn't impressed with was the hush puppies. They were a little dry. I'm assuming that that's maybe just something that's with the hush puppies themselves. I don't think there's a, I don't think these were badly prepared. I just, I've never had them before and just wasn't really a fan. As for the pinto beans, they were fantastic. The chicken or the the fish was good. The French fries were good. The coleslaw was excellent. I even liked the t tomato relish that they preserve that they served. 
So yeah, definitely two thumbs up on this. Uh, this place is, I was expecting more of a sit down kind of restaurant. This is more kind of a fast food theme, but the food was uh, plentiful. It was very tasty and it was really affordable too. I got out of here for about 12 bucks. Can't argue with that. So yeah, bottom line is the food was really good. Like I said, it's more of a fast food theme than anything else. So you have to be ready for that. Uh, but it was a lot of food, it was very tasty, and it was definitely worth uh, the money I spent on it. Good job, Catfish King. So I hope you enjoyed our visit to the Catfish King today. It's definitely worth a look if you're ever in the area or anywhere in Texas where one of the 16 branches exists. There's really good food, really good bargain, and uh, kind of a fun place to be. So thanks as always for watching. I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.